My real passion has been how can we use robots to help people. What we're really interested here is human-robot interaction. With Search and Rescue, how do people use a robot that's really far away from them, and how do they get the information about what that robot sees, and how do they understand what's around that robot? So the Dream Controller project, what stood out for us was the amazing combination of, of a surface computer together with uh, robotics in a rescue situation. During Hurricane Katrina, we had an apartment complex that otherwise would not have been searched, and so we were able to set the robots up and run it through a building and search that building in a way that wouldn't have been able to have been done otherwise. Certainly rescuers now go into very difficult situations, but wouldn't be much better to send a robot in there, because if the robot's destroyed, well, it's just a robot. It's not a person. And what the user does, they walk up to the Microsoft Surface, and they place their hand just very naturally down on the surface. Our algorithm then goes through and figures out each of their fingers and then actually paints a joystick up underneath their hand. And then just like you control an Xbox controller, you're controlling look on one hand uh, and then drive on the other hand. And then so you move the robot through the world just like you would a character in a video game. What I really love about uh, the collaboration with Holly and Mark is that they've done a very interesting mashup of two of our most exciting technologies, the Microsoft Surface and the Microsoft Robotics Developer Studio. And to use those together in this compelling application domain of rescue robotics and do some really compelling natural user interface research, that's a great combination. So by using the surface with our robots, we think that people will be able to control robots more effectively. They'll get information faster and thus be able to save lives.